let me try this one again. Welcome back to the Weird Worlds of YouTube series. I finally have a second episode. Before I continue, if you're listening to this without headphones, stop. Seriously, an emergency alert sound will play at some point. I am not responsible in every sense of that statement. I know what an emergency alert system is. It's kind of like an Amber Alert, but like on the TV. You probably have heard this sound before. Hey young man, Brazzers is free. I did warn you about the volume. This is the sound that I'm talking about. <coughs> Due to personal creative endeavors, don't ask, emergency alert system scenarios are something that I've seen on YouTube since around 2017 to 2019, that era. For normal alert systems and it led me down the custom scenarios that people would make. So. Here, I am now making a YouTube video about them. Would you like to see some of them? I named this section the one-off section because they don't really fit into the specific categories we're going over, but I still think they're cool, or at least funny. I remember about four years ago, like 2019, 2020-ish, that time frame where Siren Head got popular out of nowhere. But do you remember Siren Head? Siren about to go off because I need some fucking head. Popular Trevor Henderson creature Siren Head is a tall ass motherfucker, but five foot nothing Latinas will still say that he's too short. You just can't fucking win with him. I fucking hate Latinas. Basically, we got an entire scenario for him. Just look at it. This message is being transmitted at the request of the Calhoun County Emergency Management Agency. 25 people have disappeared. This anomaly has been identified as Siren Head. Siren Head is a 40-foot tall humanoid creature with a heavily emaciated, near-skeletal frame covered in dried, mummified flesh with a color similar to rusted metal. Its limbs are disproportionately long and thin, with arms almost as long as its entire body that ends in huge, bony hands. Siren Head hunts by silently standing in heavily forested areas making sounds like nuclear war announcements, amber alerts, or mimicking voices of people close to its victim, bringing people towards it to grab them off the ground and kill them violently. Never really thought I'd be talking about Siren Head on this channel, but, you know, I didn't think she'd text me back, but she did. This random one I found was an alert system coming from the channel CBBs. <laughs> I don't know what CBBS is, it's basically a kids programming channel from the UK. I only know about this because here in the states we have CBBS in Espanol. To clarify this, I wasn't the one watching it, my sibling was. I just found it funny. I don't know if it's haunting or fucking hilarious hearing a kids channel basically tell you, get your parents, you're going to die. You are now watching CBBS. This emergency broadcast is for parents and children watching CBBS. Please listen carefully. Approximately at 8 o'clock at night, there was a deadly portal discovered in space that appears to be absorbing everything in its way. It is expected that within the next few minutes, this portal will absorb our planet and our entire universe as a whole. Nobody or anybody will be able to escape from it. There are two possible outcomes for this situation. Once we make contact with this portal, there will be a Big Bang followed by the end of existence or best case scenario, a new universe will be merged or created. Either way, we must prepare for a calm and dignified death in case of the worst outcome of this event. Parents watching this with their children must keep them calm and collected at all times. A very interesting one I found was based on the event of a black hole forming inside of the Earth. Just that the White Sands testing facility in Las Cruces, New Mexico had their particle accelerator collapse in on itself for some caused a black hole to form. This is also how my ex was born, because she was a black hole that sucked the life out of me. The system featured a countdown to inevitable death, and I cannot imagine the waiting mode everyone would go into if that was real. That's actually fucking wild. As we know, time is known to go slower within the vicinity of a black hole, so to show that, time got slower within the video. I genuinely love to see that. Is a video titled They Are Waiting Outside. This one is one of the first ones that I remember, and basically it tells the viewer that the outside is dangerous. This is a 
Do not go outside. Lock all doors and windows. Lock yourself in a room with no windows. Cover your ears. Keep your eyes shut. Make yourself as small as possible by going into the fetal position. Do not open the door for anyone. If you have pets outside, leave them. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Don't look at the night sky. All of these years, I finally looked at the description and realized that this is actually a trailer for a game the creator was making named the Situation Red Moon. Now, those out of the way, we can go on to something that I finally get to talk about on this channel. CP Foundation is something I want to so desperately make a video on, but I'll settle for this. For now. Watch me. I'm gonna be completely dead ass with you. I'm gonna assume you know what the SCP Foundation is. I'm on the internet and haven't heard of that. I really like the idea of having the point of view of someone normal first being exposed to an escaped SCP because the TV went off. That's kind of funny. Finally, I'm going to show you one based off my personal favorite SCP. A small video uploaded by Quonium, I believe that's how it's pronounced, shows an alert detailing the potential danger of SCP-3812. I'm going to be real for a quick second. I don't know how to pronounce the numbers. Like, I don't think there's a specific way to do that, so... <laughs> you know. Why do I like this specific SCP? I just think it's cool as fuck. P001 when day breaks is the one that seems to have the most videos though, and all of them offer a bit of a different scenario, despite being the same topic. The Greatest brings us the first video about when day breaks showing three events, three alerts about the same event happening in New York and part of the East Coast in the US. The video we see is uploaded by Asuki Astral Guardians, <laughs> that's hard to pronounce, that shows us an alert taking place in the state of Georgia from the US. The video uploaded by the Mordant shows us a transmission that has been infected itself by SCP-001, starting off as a normal alert then slowly turning into an infected broadcast. Watching the newer SCP scenarios, I came across something that I never really saw in earlier emergency alert videos. However, this thing I noticed is present in a lot of other types of emergency alert videos nowadays, so I'm going to hold on to that thought for now. Maybe you'll notice what I'm referring to. From my point of view, the second most popular type of emergency alert scenario is the, well, I guess one of the most interesting ones, a zombie outbreak scenario. Remind me of that fake emergency alert that went off in like Montana, I think it was, in the US. False, false alarm went off on national TV about the dead rising from the grave. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these bodies as they are considered extremely dangerous. I repeat, civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these bodies as they are considered extremely dangerous. The title of The Awakening, uploaded by Electric Fanatic featuring Harvester, is a scenario about a distant Ebola re re relative fuck. Starts off in Washington, Seattle specifically, which eventually turns into a zombie outbreak. And I'm not gonna lie, I fucking love this video. It ends at a whopping 55 minutes, but it's genuinely worth it most about this video is that it doesn't just skip to the full zombie outbreak, it shows you the mass confusion and the progression that gets seen by the public. It eventually reach worldwide epidemic status, but I love this part right here. Within the past few weeks, a new virus by the name of K-17-PXBI, emerged from Seattle, 
The pathogen has completely puzzled scientists, especially with its apparent ability to infect a person's brain and provoke a homicidal rage state. The method of transmission has not been confirmed, though it is likely that this virus is airborne because of its rapid spread across the entire western region. The pandemic has since caused mass devastation to the west coast. Military forces are currently in retreat and cities are in complete disarray. It has become apparent to the Department of Defense and the CDC that this virus cannot be stopped from overtaking the entire western region, and data from health institutions projects that this virus will wipe out over 75% of the human population should it start spreading globally. Due to the circumstances, the President has approved drastic measures to stop the virus from entering other countries, and the eastern United States. Effective immediately, the military will cease all operations in states west of the Mississippi River. The United States has forfeited its government jurisdiction in the west. This may seem like a harsh decision, but it was made to protect the rest of humanity from such a deadly disease. Refugees from the western states will not be accepted. Electricity and gas will be cut off indefinitely. God bless America, and remember, you are all dying for the greater good of the human race. Everything west of the Mississippi River? Fuck it. To see a movie that just does that and shows you exactly what happens to those states? Like, I just kind of want to see what the fallout of that would be. What I'm saying is, Obama wouldn't do that. He wouldn't abandon them. He would drone strike them. I decided to focus on one video instead of multiple for the zombie section, you know, because there's lots of zombie scenario videos that are either almost an hour or over an hour long, and they're great, but I'd like to showcase multiple types of scenario videos, so we need to get through some of them. January 25, 1995, the Norwegian rocket incident took place. This is an event where Norwegian and American scientists launched a Black Brent 12 rocket off the northwest coast of Norway. The rocket launch confused the Russians. The US notified Russia and other nearby countries of this launch prior to it happening. Info was not given to radar technicians and you can see where this kind of goes. They ended up expecting to be hit by an EMP and attacked after that. Well, they were expecting to be attacked after the EMP dropped. President Boris Yeltsin had prepared for the worst and was ready to retaliate by sending back a nuke to the US. Can you imagine that? Or he didn't do that. You know, we're still here. Observers realized that this rocket was heading away from Russia, so crisis averted. What if scenario by Jfeather31 shows us what it would have looked like if Yeltsin had not waited and sent the fucking nukes to the US? You know, I'm a big fan of giving these lesser known events the spotlight. I love it. Slightly back in time to the Cold War, the channel YP shows us an alternate reality where the Union strikes led to riots happening against governments and all around the world. This means both Western and Eastern countries. Alert systems from various countries are shown, which I think is pretty cool, but this eventually leads to the communist Eastern countries to view these strikes and riots as Western ideals shows us the Soviet Union falling and eventually becoming the Russian Reich. Reich has one goal, to expand its borders and destroy its enemies to make the world a better place for a new Russia. What do they do? They nuke the fuck out of us. On January 30th, 1987, Ronald Reagan announced to the US public the use of nuclear weapons in retaliation of Russia's actions. God, bro, I don't know how realistic this is, but I enjoy the idea of this. I thought it was pretty cool. Nuclear scenarios are usually the same, right? North Korea or Russia attacks the US with nukes. The alert system goes off telling everyone to in, you know, get inside and prepare for impact. The thing about this though is the amounts of videos of people using these nuclear scenarios as pranks on either their parents or just people. this section the absurd scenarios because my favorite thing about these scenarios is not the creativity people show while making something realistic it's seeing how much fucking absurd scenarios people make <laughs> that's what i'm here for two channels that come to mind known as the atlas fallout foundation seems to focus on more sci-fi-esque scenarios time cracks teleporting planets fucking kaijus the yellowstone supervolcano exploding and there's just a lot more 
tame here, just tame stuff here than the next channel we have. World has a very distinct visual aesthetic, so we know when it's them. Look at these scenarios, though. Jesus Christ coming back. Joe Biden being the Antichrist. Earth being knocked out of orbit. UFOs, and even scenarios we have spoken of already. Zombies, nukes, and SCPs. Thing I wanted to bring up before. These emergency alert scenarios have been lumped in with analog horror? I think most people think of series like Mandela Catalog when they hear analog horror. That's what I was thinking, but once I realized that the alerts in this video are essentially telling a story themselves, I realized how similar it is to modern analog horror videos. Examples of what these scenarios look like. Second video by Aperture WX is nice. Nice blend of standard analog horror and emergency alert scenarios. This is actually what made me first see that these two types of videos were being lumped in together. Please stand by. Please stand by. Creative message for the city of Las Vegas. This is an all clear. I repeat all clear. The creature that has been breaking into citizens' homes has been contained. Here's the thing. There's lots of overdone tropes with analog horror that seem to be carrying over to these emergency alert scenario videos these days. The uncanny text-to-speech voice, the creepy face images on screen, the paranormal or evil entity corrupting the broadcast. Whereas the scenario videos are usually just broadcast screens that would get to the TV or maybe actual TV programming itself that gets interrupted by the alert itself. Right, they're just a lot more easy to grasp. It's usually a lot simpler and it leaves little more, leaves a little more, okay. They're just usually more simpler and they leave a little more to the imagination. Usually you don't get that with modern analog horror videos because it's all visuals. I mean to kind of complain about this because it comes off as, you know, the creative internet video wasn't to my liking, so I'm upset. And it's not that. I just kind of assumed these were different types of videos. <laughs> Shit, my bad. I'm more familiar with these scenario videos than I am modern analog horror, right? Because I found them first. It's just kind of jarring to see them get lumped in together. Can you tell it's been a while since I've recorded something? I don't think this is the first one that's going to be released. Actually, I, no, yeah, I don't think it is. I think there's another one before this one, but it's been a while. Explained here, which it most likely won't be, it'll be explained in the one that comes before this. That's 20 minutes of me talking about emergency alert scenario videos. I didn't think I'd get 20 minutes out of this. I didn't know how much I'd get out of this. This is literally just me talking to a fucking screen. Apologies for my haircut. I don't have a haircut. That's why my hair looks like this. I could just say... One, thank you for watching. Secondly, you should go watch some of these videos if you're interested, because the creators themselves would very much appreciate it. Just to support them, so, you know, if you wanna, go do it. Because I use all of their content to make something for myself and you, so I, you know, this isn't very original. Presentation? I don't know. I try, but fuck it. Believe what I have after this. So with that in mind, bye.